Kyra Condi's journey to the Olympics has literally been an uphill climb. It's the first time that climbing will be in the Olympics. I think we're really setting the stage for what Olympic climbing will be. And so it really excites me that kids who are growing up climbing now can look up to us and have that dream. Kyra's dream began by chance. I started climbing actually at a birthday party when I was about 10 years old uh, at the local gym, but I had been climbing on everything like my whole life. Yeah, Kyra has um, just got an amazing spirit. She was climbing out of the crib early, she was climbing trees, she was climbing on top of the refrigerator, she was just always on top of play structures. I was totally in heaven because I was already climbing everything in sight anyway, and so like a gym where you were supposed to climb the walls was honestly made perfectly for me. It wasn't long before Kyra began to see some success. I realized that there was this pattern of if I worked hard, I could achieve the goals that I wanted, so I just kind of kept setting those goals higher and higher. While she achieved new heights, something unexpected was about to pull her down. I had been climbing pretty competitively for about two years, and during the last year of that, I was getting really bad back pain. Wasn't sure what it was, and it's pretty uncommon for you know 12-year-old girls to have really bad back pain and be complaining about their back all the time. She was climbing so intensely, I thought it was just normal you know, soreness. Uh, went to the doctor, got an x-ray, and it was really severe right away. We was like, yeah, you definitely have scoliosis. It brought me to tears. Of course, Kyra's worried about whether when she's gonna get to climb again. You know, the first doctor was like, you, you might not climb, and that was just not acceptable. We found a surgeon who told me that I would be back climbing and that there was no question in his mind that I would be on top of the podium at some point and to send him a picture when I was. After the surgery, uh, she, was determined to make uh, make it out of the hospital faster than anybody else that has ever been had that surgery. So there's this photo of me at the gym in a bathrobe uh, with my team, actually, because the children's hospital where I got my surgery was less than five minutes away from the climbing gym where I started climbing. And so when I got out, it happened to be the same day as team practice, around the same time when team was practicing. So I went straight to the gym. After surgery, Kyra went back to competition and her star began to rise even faster. So this is a little glimpse into Kyra's room growing up and you can again see how much climbing was a part of her life. Whenever she won a medal at one of the competitions, she hung them up here. All the blues are her first place. You can see some of the smaller ones are more local comps, up to the big ones, which are the national comps. Another thing Kyra liked to do was um, every time she was in a competition, you get a bib that you wear on your, you have to wear on your back so the judges can identify you. And she kept all of her bibs from every single competition. Um, a lot of times that was my job after the comp. Mom, do not lose my bib and don't try and get it wrinkled because she does like to have them up and display and remember. For Kyra, success isn't just about hard work. It's about the support she's had along the way. I really lucked out with my parents in general, and my mom especially is just really positive and just a, I don't, just a force to be reckoned with, I think, when it comes to positivity and encouragement. Well, I always thought it's a much bigger compliment to be called strong than to be called beautiful. You know, it's okay to be strong. That is beautiful. That is a huge compliment. I was making a point to be like, oh, mom, you look, you look really strong. Uh, <laughs> and so. I think me and my roommate now do that for each other too. Like a lot of us are like, oh man, you look jacked. And it's a good thing, which it should be. One of my biggest goals as a professional athlete and you know, influencer on social media and things like that is to inspire the younger generation of climbers and especially young girls. Um, I think a lot of times we're told what we can do and what our body should look like. And uh, I really want to break that like stigma and you know, show them that it's cool to be strong. Seeing Kyra be so strong it's really inspired me to keep pushing myself. My mom has always been a huge Olympic fan. Uh, and so when climbing got into the Olympics, she was unbelievably excited. She told me she was gonna go watch Tokyo, you know, whether I was there or not. <laughs> and I think that was actually her tactic to not make me nervous. Kyra's parents were lucky enough to watch their daughter qualify for the Olympics. <laughs> I love this. This is like one of my favorite pictures of you, me, and Kyra. This is the morning of Toulouse. Oh, yeah. It was so fun to just to get to see her off that morning. See, even in this picture, I love it because you can see the determination in her face. It was just so cool to see her fight so hard on a climb. Yeah. 
You could you could just see it at every single move on that lead climb. It's such a dream, you know. You, you grow up watching the Olympics and and just seeing all these amazing athletes, and and then all of a sudden you realize, hey, your daughter is competing to to become an Olympian. Support and be proud of your kids. That goes just such a long way. I don't think I'd be where I am without their support. Even if that support is now long distance. Kathy and Kyra are really close. Uh, they on the phone together all the time. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Kyra. Hey, sweetie. How's it going? Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah too. <laughs> Got done training. Uh, did a combined day today. Oh, cool. So how was speed feeling? It was good. We did doubles. Uh, Kyra always knows when her mom's in the crowd because her mom is the loudest person uh, yelling, uh, Kyra, go Kyra, you got this. It's so fun to watch. And my, the rest of my family won't be able to come watch in Tokyo, um, but I know some part of her is still kind of hoping that she's gonna find some loophole so that she can come watch in person. I think it's just, it's important with any relationship mother-daughter friendships is to kind of really tune into someone's passions and their strengths and what motivates them and encourage that and set that up for success and i do that for kyra and i think and she does that for me too and you know where you'll put the olympic medal <laughs> yeah that that one um i don't know these might have to all come down if there's an olympic medal up there i'm really proud to be representing team usa it's a legendary team it's produced a lot of amazing athletes, a lot of amazing activists, uh, things like that. I don't think that I could have had any other mom and ended up where I am. Like, she has influenced me in so many ways, both in being a good athlete, being a good person, uh, valuing academics, just all sorts of things. Like, she amazes me every single day. Uh, and people tell me all the time how awesome she is. And I'm like, yeah, I know, like, I lucked out. <laughs> I could not have done this with any other mom, for sure.